We are at 58.5 volts and we are about to do a range test. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this. <clears throat> we are gonna do a range test today. This bandit is equipped with two batteries. This is the 20, well, I should say, this is the 52 volt, 24 amp hour battery paired with a 52 volt, 17 amp hour battery. Okay, so today's range test is only gonna be on this bad boy right here. This is the one that you'll get when you purchase the Bandit. Uh, just keep in mind that the Bandit is the least expensive e-bike right now on the market that is equipped with a 52 volt, 24 amp hour battery, front and rear suspension. My Bandit is equipped with a dual headlight as well as turn signals. But just keep in mind that mine, I decided to upgrade. I went for a smaller streamlined finish. All right, so today is uh, Sunday, January 29th. We are looking at 54 degrees when I started. It looks like it might rain, so I might just get wet on this ride. But we're doing this, a range test. I'm using the Relive app to uh, document everything. The, the fastest speed that I went, as well as uh, the, uh, the changes in elevation, which play a role. So you're looking at about a 185 pound rider on this bad boy over here. The only extra weight that I'll be carrying is the smaller rider bag, and all that's inside it is maybe three extra batteries for the GoPro, as well as my heated gloves, just in case I get cold while I'm riding today. Without any further ado, let's get into this one. So keep in mind that terrain will be hilly, not a flat level, and that should deplete this battery a lot faster. I am anticipating anywhere between maybe 20 at to at best 30 miles on this range test. And uh, I will be trying to uh, full throttle this bad boy. So right now we're looking at about 34 miles per hour. So the range of speed will be anywhere between maybe 15 and 30 miles per hour. It was a beautiful day out today. I just wish I would have started this range test earlier. It took me a little while to get prepared. But anyway, we're out here now, we're doing this. Let's have some fun today. Let's carry this momentum because this next hill is no joke. Come on, buddy, go, go, go. All right, this is a pretty steep hill. I lost momentum. I'm managing about 25 miles per hour going up the hill. Hope it doesn't rain. I have no front fender, which is something I need to add. So if it rains on me, that water is just gonna spit up on my face. I try to stick to uh, roads so I can keep my speed high and cover more ground rather than a bike trail. now towards uh party Staten out of the mall if you're concerned with getting in a workout this is the perfect tool you get outside get some fresh air you get to explore as well as a little bit of a workout all right so now we're working our way down to richmond avenue <clears throat> when I get to Highland, I might bang right, take Highland all the way down to the end. When I reach the end of Highland, I'm going to turn around, take Highland all the way down to the, to the bike lane, 
right along the water maybe stop and see what voltage I'm at and then keep it going from there all right so now I'm on Highland Boulevard I'm gonna ride this down to the end and then turn around all right something to keep in mind this road is on a little bit of a slant so the bike lane is full of debris and that's pushing me into the roadway don't know if you can see but I'm on a little bit of an incline okay so we are getting closer to the end of Highland Boulevard the temperature is dropping I know he wishes he had an e-bike cover more ground can take in more of the sights of Staten Island and still getting a workout I thought we were getting closer to the end. This Island Boulevard is awfully long. Looks like we're in the Tottenville section right now. Okay, so just up ahead, I can see the end of Highland Boulevard. And I'm looking down at my display and it is in the red. So I'm really curious to know how many miles we covered. And I am a little bit concerned because I don't think I'll make it all the way back down Highland Boulevard to the bike trail. We'll pull up now into the park and take a look at everything. <laughs> well, one thing that I didn't consider was how close I am to the water. So that explains the drop in temperature. pull in here we'll check out the miles covered the voltage that I'm at and I think it's time to put on my my heated gloves right now it looks like I'm at about 50 volts I think I should be good to head back down Highland Boulevard and make it to the bike trail Okay, so, so far, I've plotted 13.2 miles, and I don't know how to check right now, but I guess we'll wait till it's over to find out the changes in elevation. All right, I'm going to swap out the GoPro battery and then uh, get back to the, and then get back to the range test. All right, so we are on our way. Oh, shit. Incidentally, uh, these uh, heated gloves are so good, uh, they're not even on and I feel a huge difference. These gloves have, I want to say, four modes. Let's see, this is the hottest setting. This is one step down. This is another step down. So that's three settings. Yeah, four settings. Four settings. I try to use it at the least, the lowest setting so it lasts the longest period of time. Uh, but uh, they were great <clears throat> they're actually really good without the uh, without even turning them on all right so we're back at it tension is voltage sag so at a standstill I was uh, looking at around 50 volts I don't recall exactly uh, but at full throttle moving at about 34 miles an hour we dropped down to about 44.4 volts so the battery voltage is lit up in red on the display so i'm still on highland boulevard i've dropped down to about 42 volts now the battery display has the battery voltage extremely low so i'm just curious as to how much range I have left on this battery because I would imagine she's going to cut off soon and I'm curious as to what the cutoff point on the controller is set at and on top of that once she cuts off will it be like my other battery that I can turn the battery off and back on and still get a little bit of range after that It's 
up, bud? Okay, okay. <laughs> it's not the same. I'm cheating. Why is it? <laughs> Let me hold on to you. You're more than welcome to. No, no. What's your range like? I'm actually trying to determine the range on this battery. No. You're human, so your range has to be different. What, what kind of range can you I get? Is 100. 100 miles? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Well, I used to ride. I have a, a specialized, I don't know if you know them, Sirius, I think it's called. Uh, 33 was my, my, my longest distance traveled. I'm at 35 right now. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, you look like you can go another 35. I don't see a, 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 any range anxiety or no. fatigue set on your face. Not yet. <laughs> That's cool though, man. I like that. Dude. It's a lot of fun. You can cover a lot of ground and get in a workout because it is pedal assisted. But, uh, you know, I just don't get as tired as fast. Yeah, no, good, man. <laughs> uh, I'll let you guys go. Be safe. Enjoy your ride. Thank you. Take care. Take care, bud. Oh shit! And this is an incline! Yeah, you guys are good! <laughs> that was good, impressive! Be safe! All right, we are down to the wire right now. <clears throat> 42 volts at full throttle, 33 miles per hour. And she's still going strong. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but look at the battery display. I can, I can barely see the red line. Forty-two volts, but I'm still at 31, 32 miles per hour. And that's very impressive for a battery that's almost depleted. Not even pedaling, I'm at 33 miles per hour. All right, now she's fluctuating between 41 and 42 volts. I think I'm gonna leave my GoPro running so I can catch the moment this battery dies. <coughs> but she's still going. Well, I should, just when I say, just when I was about to say she's still going strong, I can feel the sag and uh, I'm slowing down. I'm at full throttle, but she's slowing down. There is a slight incline in elevation right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if she shuts off on me. All right, let's see if pedaling helps get me up this hill so we can go a little bit longer. <laughs> but I think, uh, <laughs> I think this battery is at its end. The display is on, my headlights are on, my flashers. Uh oh, she's dropping. Check it out. Can you see that? Full throttle, 19 miles per hour, and I can feel the sag. So I'm gonna turn down this road here because this is the back roads to the uh, to the bike trail that I like to ride on. Oh yeah, look at that. Just I'm off the main road, but. Yeah, she's gonna, she's gonna give out on me. All right, so you guys that are uh, riding around with uh, 52 volts, 24.5 amp hour batteries, you guys can expect her to shut off. Or at least give up on you at about 42 volts. 
that's where we're at right now I'm at full throttle and I'm just barely moving she's about to give out on me I was kind of hoping that she would shut off all right still holding that throttle down voltage is dropping remember this rider is about 185 pounds all right i guess i'm calling this one it seems like there's enough charge in this battery to keep the lights on and the display going she's on her last legs all right i'm calling this one <clears throat> she didn't shut off on me but we're really not moving Oh, actually it says power protect. I hope that's not a bad thing. And there's a check engine light on. That's interesting. All right, so let's, uh, let's see where we're at. All right, no throttle, 42 volts. And I'm shutting her down. Let's see how much miles we covered. Okay, so the top speed we made was 43 miles an hour. We covered, uh, looks like 23 miles. And let's see what our highest elevation is. Okay, it's actually 22.6 miles. The highest elevation was 515 feet. So I'm going to send this over to Matt and see if I can get his intel on what he takes of this range test. Hey Mr. E, thanks for doing that range test. Yeah, you'll see that 20 to 25 miles is about what we expect to see riders get when they're really pushing that thing to the limit. So if you take a look at our website, you'll see a chart that we made that kind of breaks down different range estimates. And what I encourage you to do is take a look at how many watt hours our battery is. So you get that number by multiplying the volts times the amp hours, and then comparing that to the range that we estimated. And that's important because you can also see a few other companies in that mix and just check out what they estimate their ranges to be versus what we estimate our ranges to be based on very different size batteries. So, you know, we see this all the time where there'll be a company that has a battery that is half of our size and they are claiming that they're going to be getting 75 miles on that range and it's just not physically possible. If you do want to get more range out of your bike, you can always do dual batteries. But also keep in mind that you can buy the classic bike with one battery and then down the road you can get a battery blender and then add any size battery you want you know if you wanted to get a crazy 52 volt 50 amp hour battery and strap that onto the frame and use a battery blender you could do it so we've really tried to make the platform as open as possible so you can do whatever you want okay so one of the advantages to having two batteries is you could do something like i did ride one battery until it's completely drained and then switch over to the second battery and get your ass home which is what i'm going to do right now uh, but keep in mind that you can use also use these batteries in parallel and that extends the range the power and the speed <clears throat> You just want to do a, a range test prior so you know more or less uh, the distance that you can cover as well as the voltage level before it completely goes on you. All right, so it's off to the house. We'll wrap this one up when I get there. So if you guys are like me, average build, 185 pounds, that's what you'd be looking at, approximately 23 miles. With a 52 volt, 24.5 amp hour, in average conditions with some elevations and pushing that throttle. Uh, you saw up to 43 miles per hour I got. So we know with one battery, we can get up to 23 miles. So the only thing left to do is a range test with both batteries. So stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate. Smash that like button. Leave a comment, because I get back to everybody. And if you want, please subscribe. So until the next video, peace out everybody. Whew, I am out of breath. Why? Because I pedaled.